We stand with the women of Iran. That is the message being shared at several protests across the GTA over the last several days, as well as online by Iranian Canadians. They're urging the Canadian government to get involved after the death of 22-year-old Masa Amini, who died while in police custody for not properly wearing her hijab. It's time for the West, in time for Mr. Trudeau and Biden to help Iranian people to get rid of this regime once and for all. Over the last week, protests like this one at Mel Lastman Square have been taking place across Toronto and the world. We are here to support Iranian people who are protesting on the streets of Iran. According to Iranian state police, at least 41 people have been killed in the week-long unrest that began after the death of Masa Amini, with women at the forefront of the movement fighting for their right to choose. Respect women, respect everybody be equal. Cool. That's the whole point. We just want the Canadian government to echo Iranian people's voice and to uh, put IRGC to designate it as a terrorist group. The IRGC is a branch of the Iranian Armed Forces. There have been recent calls for Canada to label the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corp a terrorist group. Following the downing of Ukraine International Airlines Flight 752 in 2020, which killed all 176 people on board. It's not only uh, challenging the Islamic Republic, but it's also challenging the patriarchal definition of Islam. And from that point of view, it's it's a leading a movement that could be continued in Saudi Arabia, in Afghanistan, and the rest of the Middle East. Mohammed Tabakuli is a director of Allahe Institute of Iranian Studies at the University of Toronto. He says while protests against the Islamic regime are nothing new, this one has the potential to bring about reform to the country. The Islamic Republic has been hanging on into the dress code and controlling women's body. And by challenging that, both at the micro level in the neighborhoods, in the, in the street, in the offices, I think it, it, it's creating a movement that is different from what we have today. Experts say the fundamental difference between this movement and others is that brave young women are leading the charge for the first time ever in Iran. The entire structure of, of this state is being threatened by, by the, the, the fact that women are on the streets, people of Iran are, are, are on the street, across generations, across class. At the heart of it are, are younger women who are fully aware of what they want mm -hmm. and they are not there to compromise anymore. Iranian authorities claim no wrongdoing in the death of Masa Amini and say that she had underlying medical issues. However, her family disagrees, saying that she was in perfect health at the time of her death. Melissa Nakavali, City News.